headed out. It's about 6.45. Winds are super light right now. They're supposed to remain that way all day. There's a little bit of groundswell in the water, but nothing too serious. I'm gonna head to the islands and see if I can get another yellowtail. If you saw the last video, uh, Ronnie got a nice yellowtail again. Or we both got it, we, we split it. But uh, yeah, we're trying to uh, get another one of those and have some more, some more fresh fish for the weekend, so. Um, I've got a full moon. I don't know how that's gonna affect things. Maybe one of you guys understand the, the moon cycle a little bit better and how it affects fish. Uh, I know it affects the tides, but I think it also makes the fish freak out. So yeah, I'm gonna stop and get some bait. The slow trolling really does work. As much as I wanted to resist it in the beginning of the season and just use artificials, uh, slow trolling produces fish. Uh, so it's, there's indisputable evidence that slow trolling works. Uh, you gotta pay to pay for the, for the bait. Here goes my tree though.
I think that's a wing. Gotta check. Gonna mimic some type of cod. All the new California species. Pretty fish. Looks like a dragon. Let this guy go. Oh, hope he swims away. That would be a waste. Oh, there he is. Sometimes it takes a second. But it was like 200 feet, so a lot of times when you're pulling fish off the bottom that deep, they die. Their mortality goes up. Something small. Think about it, this thing's got mono on it, which isn't the best for this type of fishing. Set up for trolling. <laughs> got one! <laughs> nice! It feels decent too. Something to eat, hopefully. Yeah, it's definitely got some shoulders. Color. Oh, I think it's a double header, actually. That's why it's. Thirteen and a half. So let's take you. Get a couple more rockfish and then uh, I don't know, head over to middle grounds, troll or cast some bass or something. What? I saw a big school or something, it looked like tuna.